Mega Fight. Children, relax. Am I fight? Baru, feel you drop. Fight. Okay, so this is um a video that I have been meaning to make for a while, but never really did. I just want to make a series about showing you lesser known characters in the fighting game world. Characters from games to where you may not have heard of. Um, games that maybe you think you don't think you don't have a high opinion of. It's not really well received by like cool looking characters or good designs. Good designs translate to the audience, right? And they're they're good designs regardless of what platform or what game they happen to be on, you know? There's good designs of Virtual Fighter, Bloody Roar, you know, Dead or Alive, various other games. I may not necessarily be a fan of that game, but I like the character. So today we're gonna turn to a character named Java. And his full name is Flawless Super Saiyan Java. <laughs> and the reason why I want to bring this character to you guys' attention because he's cool. He's a cool uh, original character, obviously DBZ influenced, but he's um, <laughs> he's a cool Jamaican Saiyan warrior, you know. And it's along the same it's along the same uh, lines of what you see, you know, like on Tumblr or Twitter, you know, even on ArtStation, where you see various fan arts of Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, with the advent of Super and the popularity that that had. Um, you see, you know, just a litany of different uh, fan art from various artists all over the world, right? And uh, even though that's all well and good, especially in the art world, people consider fan art not genuine artistic efforts, if that makes sense. But it is. And so oftentimes when people make fan art, then that can evolve into other realms of creative exploration, you know? Uh, I've been reading comics and certain games to where the creators outright say, hey, this character I made that would eventually be an original character in the comic would be inspired by um, my uh, uh, OC I made on World of Warcraft, you know? Even I was reading things about the creators of, or the creator of Iori Yagami and Kyoku Saniki off of the King of Fighters series. And um, people don't know, but Kyoku Saniki is actually the original concept of him was directly inspired by um, you know the character with the famous jacket the famous red jacket with the pill on the back uh, from the Akira manga and movie Kyoko Sonic was inspired by him and so when people you know when, when they like works then they are inspired to create their own things right and then eventually that evolves evolves into their own character you know which then others can enjoy so in terms of Java like this guy went out of his way to make the, his own edit of a character because there's already a Hyper Dragon Ball Z game that uses the Mugen engine. However, um, he took one of the Hyper Dragon Ball Z characters, in this case, Super Saiyan Goku, and then he edited Super Saiyan Goku and drew his own sprites to make uh, the Jamaican flawless Super Saiyan Java, you know? So that lo level of effort and dedication like, I like things like that, you know? Uh, and people who have attention to detail and they are fans of certain works, you know, they like when people go above and beyond they do that, you know? To evolve from just a fan to a creator. Not saying there's anything wrong with the fan, but um, the like I said, the next step or the next level of effort should definitely be noted and appreciated, hence why I'm making this video. So what we have here is Java. So he's a sand, <laughs> obviously, with the tail and the spiky hair. And it seems that um, you know, when he turns super sand, that his hair goes silver, which is pretty cool. His dreads go from uh, black to silver, which is really cool. And um, he plays like a, you know, uh, he plays like a hyper Dragon Ball Z character if you ever played one of those games. He has the standard, um, <laughs> the standard, you know, fireballs. Well, it's not really standard, it look different. But when I mention attention to detail, just pay attention to how he throws the fireball. Obviously, without even hearing this guy's creative intention, he meant for this character to be like perfect, to be uh, effortless, to not break a sweat, to be cool and calm and collected, right? So even the way he throws his fireballs is very like, uh, 
you know, very um without effort, right? <laughs> without effort, I would say, for lack of a better term. And the creative freedom that you can have when you make your own character, you can kind of design it, like I said, however how you want it, right? This is a this is a more intensive effort than simply making the OC and then listing out his, the, you know, the likes, the qualities, the birthday, the height, you know, like you see on DeviantArt or something like that. So, so yeah, that's his fireball. And uh, he has an EX version to where he can do it and it can bounce through this wall. So, you know, uh, if you ever play Mugen, then, you know, it's a uh, create your own everything, create your own life bar, your own stage, your own hit sparks, your own uh, sound effects, your own sprites, your own everything. So build, build your own fighting game, pretty much. And so people include elements like that to, to um, you know, to resemble fighting games, right? And to give them some level of meta for combo, combo ability. And even when he does his EX, he kind of throws it up and then closes his eyes. Like I said, he's just very uh, Mr. Mr. Cool guy, you know? So yeah, uh, let me just explore this character a little more. We have his, his standard jabs, you know? We have his heavy kicks. And even that's a cool concept. You don't often see that with Dragon Ball Z characters to where he's attacking with his tail, right? And even when he's attacking, he's kind of looking as if he's <laughs> trying to solve a riddle or something, right? He looks, he looks kind of curious. Just giving off that that sense of, um, you know, kind of being nonchalant, I guess, if that's the right word. And of course, you know, the animations aren't perfect. They're not, because usually Mugen creators are just fans, so they're not professionals by any means, but still. Uh, I definitely like to look at uh, creations that, you know, give off that impression of being professional and really when people do a good job at it, right? So yeah, he has a standard moves, right? Um, you know, he, even you can just do combos like this. Right? Oh yeah, he has his, his DP, which he uses his tail, which is super, a cool concept, you know? Like I said, the animation may not be perfect, but you can see that this can be a building block for improving animations, adding some effects on it. And it, you can make it like, you know, a really cool character. Instead of the regular DP, he uses his tail, you know? That's like a clever concept. It's not just used to turn to the great ape, you know? <laughs> if he can do that. But yeah, um, standard moves, right? Uh, let's see. He even has a dive kick. Which, which you can combo off of. See, he has a focus. He has a focus attack. He, in similar to Street Fighter Four, you can actually um, you can actually combo off of it. Yeah, he has a a punch where you can launch from. You know, like a mar very marvelous Kakuma kind of Two like. I can spike him on the ground also. And you can just do a bunch of things, right? So yeah, I mean, this character, you know, it's just a standard character. Again, he's, in terms of the inner workings of him, the groundwork is mainly off of Super Saiyan Goku from Hyper Dragon Ball Z. But like I said, I think he's using his own creative sprites. He's differentiated enough to where it can be considered as, you know, another character, right? So. So yeah, he has a bunch of things. Let's see, what else he have? Uh, without looking at the move list. His supers, he has some grabs. Even the way he runs, it's just like, <laughs> a reluctance to even use the arms, right? The way he jumps, you know? Um, so yeah, just, I like the design themes of this character, you know? It's kind of similar to why wow, I like Miguel, right? He's not the same as Miguel. Miguel is very super serious, the, quite the opposite of Java, right? But the thing about this character is that uh, I like it when they exemplify their mood and their mannerisms throughout their move list, you know? 
because like I said, when he's running, he's jumping back, he's doing this. It's just, it's, it's, it's de definitely simplified, like I said, so. He has an EX dive kick. Okay, yeah, so, even the, I'm looking at the move list here, and even, just so I don't miss anything, but even the name of the moves, he's, he has it to where, uh, like this move, for instance, is called Calm Kick. So, you see what I'm saying? He, you can tell the design attention of the character without needing to read it, but now it's confirmed, you know, if you, Actually, know the guy who made it. Uh, look at some of his forum posts on Moon Guild, like that. So, but yeah, it's just like you just you know kicking kicking the can down the road, right? And that helps. Let's see you craft the moose set and how it strings together, right? So he has some advan other advanced techniques. Like I said, he has a super. And like I said, even the way is, is I mean, just pay attention. Now. I can't reiterate that enough. Those are those are things I like about fighting games, you know. And that's not, uh, and Mugen isn't excluded from that. Our original characters created in this engine. So when he does his super, he just kind of flicks it. You know, he just kind of kind of flicks his wrist, as if he's trying to get rid of a you know of a bug or a mild annoyance, right? So I just like stuff like that. And you're not gonna hear me shut up about stuff like that. So he can shoot it in the air. You can shoot it. You can shoot it uh, on the ground. Um, let's see. You can shoot in the air, like I said. Here's a teleport as well. So, for instance, I can go. You know, something like that, right? So yeah, he has that. You can do a bunch of things, right? He can teleport, and it's the same mechanic uh, as Super Super Saiyan Goku. Like I said, I always keep saying that because he is built on top of him. So I can teleport behind you, teleport. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, what else can I do? Yeah, I can teleport in front of you. Yeah, I can do it from any any position. I can teleport above you, above behind you. So I can do things like. Uh, you know, punch, 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 then hit him down, stuff like that. And then you can get clever and then use the tail, and then you can teleport after that, and then you can do a bunch of stuff like that. Hit uh, that super as well, where he can hit you in the air. Oh wait, hold on. Miss it again. So yeah, he has like an air super. Um, let's see what else he has. Just little stuff like that. Like he can dash, he can dash back for, and he hits with his tail. So this, he seems to like hitting you with his tail, right? As if that's like um, an extension of his limb. You know, you don't, you don't even really see that on Dragon Ball Z so much. Usually, either the tails are cut or they, you know, just use it to wrap it around their waist. I wish I think he does on an intro as well. Let me check. So yeah, um, so not only can I do this, not only can I do that, he has an EX one to where he can do the super, super big blast. Uh, he can do it in the air. And I can also charge it. For it adds damage. And that gets it locked. He can also charge it in the air too, when he does the super. So yeah, um, this character has a lot of different techniques. I don't want to show everything because I want you to actually download it, but um, and try it yourself. You know, and Mugen is very easy to install, either Ikeman or Mugen. Um, you can just download the character and. Um, yeah, you can actually try it yourself, try out different combos. I actually, if I haven't already, I'm going to show you a, a new or a, a mini combo video, so to speak. Because again, when I, whenever I mess with different characters like this in any game, I just get lost in training mode in the, in, in the real hyperbolic time chamber, right? <laughs> in the sandbox. And then I just, you know, figure out new combos, new moves. I just love being a combo junkie like that. So I kind of crafted a little combo video. 
uh, while making this video and trying him out. So yeah, I don't want to show everything like I said, but he's definitely a cool character that you should play. And this character, as far as I know, really isn't in development. And uh, it's been a little, a little bit like a year, I guess, or maybe a couple, eight, nine months since it was last updated. But you can get the beta version on his Patreon, which I'll link in the description. Now there's also an alpha version, which is more updated and has newer moves and stuff like that. But he has that uh, to where if you support him on Patreon, then you can get the alpha version, which is which is totally fine, understandable. So um, I'll click the link to the description for it. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much the video. So let me know if you have any thoughts, if you want to play them, if you're interested in more videos like these. But uh, I'll see you guys later.
を教えてやる